Well, I'm all suited up and ready for night number one of the Cottage Grove Spring Fling. That is where we are currently at for tonight. Welcome back to today's video. We are here in Cottage Grove, Oregon at the Cottage Grove Speedway. This is truly one of the most fun racetracks that we will run at throughout the Pacific Northwest. It's a banked quarter mile that races like a big track. It may be small, but it races very, very large. There's a bottom, there's a top, and usually a slick center part of the track where you can throw sliders and work multiple different grooves. This is a place I have not ran a 360 sprint car since 2019 because of the pandemic. They only had limited shows last year. I think we ran a couple of times. Carly ran here last weekend and now I'm making, um, I guess, my return to Cottage Grove for the 360 tonight. So 19 360s on tap. Kind of overcast, very cool. The track looks fairly wet, so it's probably going to start out pretty gripped up fast and then hopefully get slicker as the night goes on. We're going to get it started, though, all here with engine heat right into hot laps, and I think we're the 13th or 14th car to roll off for qualifying. Qualifying's over. I made sure to put on another stack of tear-offs for the heat race. We ended up six quick tonight at the Cottage Grove Speedway. We were hoping to be a little bit quicker, but I just missed my marks. It was such a fine line, wide open, a little greasy off of turn two as well. The racetrack is just super, super fast. I believe quick time overall was not far off the track record. It's overcast, they watered it a good amount, and all the factors that kind of just play into it with also not a lot of cars didn't wear it in. It was super greasy for hot laps, and it was even a little greasy, like I mentioned there, for qualifying. So the racetrack's super fast. I'm not sure how much it's gonna burn off. Carly's cleaning the car here. We had a ton of mud. We were playing in the mud there for the beginning of the night. So heat race is gonna be up next. We are six quick out of 19 cars and I believe we're gonna be rolling off um, fifth in heat race number three because they're doing a six car invert. So our heat race is finished from night number one of the spring fling. We started fifth, ended up running third. Hopefully that is enough to put us in tonight's sprint car redraw, which is the top six in points after qualifying and the heat races. And that redraw and then five lap dash is gonna line up the top six for the A-Main event. So the heat race track was just super narrow. I ran some good laps, had a couple times where I made some mistakes and ended up running third. I think we had a chance at winning the heat race, but I just was not able to get past the leader. The track's just fast enough where I maneuvered a little bit for what I could, but I just wasn't able to find a way by. Hopefully the racetrack gets a little wider, starts to slicken off more, and we have more of a racy surface for later in the night. Yeah, you're happy to be back at <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got that on camera. All right, let's play some sort of race in What's the Drake Wheeler? Tanner. I'll keep. You keeping it? Tanner. What about that? Tanner. Tanner has six. Six. Shane has five. Six.
here is the surface that we have tonight at Cottage Grove. Awesome to see a pretty decent crowd on this Friday night here in um, a smaller town. Cottage Grove's not very big, not a whole lot of residents, but the racetrack is just super, super fast. Not much slick out there. There is a little bit entering turn three, but one and two is just far more hooked up. So we started sixth, ended up running fifth, gained one spot, really would have liked to move up a whole row and would have liked to have ran fourth, but is what it is. I just need to try to be up more, more on the wheel, drive the race car harder. When a racetrack is really fast like this, you're pretty much wide open and you just gotta blast the top, which isn't even the top really, it's just a little bit above the middle. So a main event will be up next. We are gonna be rolling off from fifth. All right, we might need our windshield wipers for this A-Main event. Precipitation is starting to come down. It's raining a little. The last thing the racetrack needs is some rain. So sticky, fast, might be slimy, interesting conditions for the A. Not sure how much you're going to be able to see on the GoPro. Chris is going to film. We roll off bit, but um, time to get up to staging.
there is flat. Right there. Yep. I was like, it wasn't airing very fast. Well, the rain came down right after the feature and everything now is a muddy mess in the race trailer. We ended up running third tonight at the Cottage Grove Speedway out of 19 cars. I know the result sounds good and I'm not completely disappointed with it. I just was really hoping to come into this weekend and possibly get a win at a track that's close to home. And as a racer, maybe you can relate to this, but the whole night was just super weird. There was three classes, it started out hooked up and since there wasn't as many racers, it just didn't really burn off which isn't necessarily my style. I mean, anybody can qualify on a wide open racetrack, but it's even more difficult to race on that because you gotta be able to be up on the wheel and race at a very fast pace. Then in the A main event, started fifth, got up to third, but about 10 to 12 laps into the feature, my right rear tire actually got cut and started to leak. So I had a right rear going down and that just kinda added to our night and the car started bouncing really bad. You probably saw the small clip right when I got out of the race car, but this was the right right rear so this is what hurt our a main event we might have had a shot to run in the top two or at least contend for the win because our stuff was good but when you have a right rear going down like that and literally you're just running around with a flat tire there's not really a whole lot you can do so that was kind of disappointing we still brought it home third it doesn't look like we're going to be racing tomorrow because it's raining everything's muddy it's supposed to rain all tomorrow which is saturday we're supposed to be racing i do want to real quickly though thank all my sponsors next gen death carson oil pit stop USA, Durango RV, Ferguson, Fast Four Media, On-Site Screeners, OMA KTM, QRC, and Lafarge North America for all their help this season. A third place run, a podium finish, night number one of the Spring Fling. This looks like it's going to conclude our Spring Fling, and thank you to you guys for riding along with us. A solid night, something to build off of, but we are going to head home. I'm starting to lose light here in the trailer. One last thing to end this video on, it was great to be back at the Cottage Grove Speedway. This place is home for me. It screams the Pacific Northwest, and it's always fun just to do sprint car racing around this little boring quarter mile that races like a big track. I'll see you guys all in the next one, though, and thank you so much for watching. Deuces.